Starting a new story will delete previous saved game, yes. Yes, I am sure. I think this game has like a multiplayer mode. I was born with a strange gift. <gasps> Look at baby Elliot Page. The ability to see what no human being has ever seen before. It's all mixed up in my head. The images, the sounds, the smell. I need to remember put things in order right up to this moment. Remember who this I am. This is an intense game. If I had to say I've how I've played it all through began, once before and the ending absolutely destroyed there. me. No spoilers. This is a no spoiler playthrough of this game. However, I found you by the Ooh, it's intense. In the middle of nowhere. Was there an accident? I don't know, was there? Did, did someone try to hurt you? Welcome to music. Hi, welcome on in. Um, happy Valentine's Day. I wanted to do something fun and maybe interesting. Um, I tried to do a just chat chatting stream originally, and my poor little laptop just couldn't handle it. So we're streaming from my PS4 like I usually do. Um, Valentine's Day activity. I was talking to a friend on Twitter earlier and it turned into like uh, a sort of self-love activity the, uh, Ace had asked oh who is also a streamer let me just I'll give them a shout out as I'm talking about this um, they asked people how they practice self-love because today's Valentine's Day and a lot of people are spending today alone and I remembered a, an activity um, that someone showed me, god, years ago, um, in which you write down, uh, let me see, I think this is their Twitch. I think that's Ace's Twitch that I just put up. Uh, yes it is. Um, so I was talking to Ace on Twitter, uh, about this affirmation activity in which you basically write down every little thing, doesn't matter how big or small, that you like about yourself and you write it down on a piece of paper or a post-it note or something and you fold it up and put it in a jar, a box, an envelope or whatever so that later you can reach in and pull out an affirmation when you need it. So I thought, as a fun little self-love activity, I've got a jar here, it's empty because I haven't done an activity like this in a long time. It's been like years. 
Um, but I thought it would be a fun thing together. Thank you. I appreciate that. I've, oh my god, I've had this little jar for like so long. I think I got it at Dollar Tree at one point. So I thought it would be a fun thing as people kind of trickle into chat tonight. If you would like to share... Uh, you can share as many as you'd like, but at least one thing that you like about yourself. Because throughout the night, I will be writing down my own affirmations. And probably sharing them, because that's fun and cool. Uh, and then I'll be putting them in my jar, which will be right there behind me. And, um, I don't know, I just thought it would be a fun little activity to do. So yeah, that's what's going on in addition to, you know, the game and all that jazz. Uh, I started a list earlier so that I didn't forget everything that I, like, had written down. However, let me see if I can pull it back up because I'll just start the first thing now. What was the first thing I said? I literally said... You probably can't see it, but I said smart as hell because I am smart as hell. So. We wrote it down. Oh my god, you can't see it at all. You can't see it at all, but it's fine. We wrote it down. We're going to take the post-it note. We're going to fold it in half. We're going to put it in our jar. So that when we need a little pick-me-up later at some point, um, it's there. And a lot of people like to uh, do their affirmations, whether it's just verbalizing them or reading them or anything like that. Sometimes people like to look at themselves in a mirror when they do it because it helps, like, visualize it, you know? Um, but yeah, that's that's... Part of what we're doing tonight. The other part is playing this fantastic game, uh, whose uh, the main character is played by Elliot Page, and uh, this game absolutely destroyed my emotions the first time I played. It. So, box of music, how you doing? How about a name? We do stand, Elliot. Like Elliot's amazing. You must have How family. you doing? How's your day? How's your night? Friends? Happy Valentine's Someone Day. Do you have you a Valentine? Because if you don't have a Valentine, we shall be each other's Valentines. You don't talk much, do you? Well, if you don't help me, I can't help you. <clears throat> Good. I just finished designing a logo for my dad. Nice! I do have a valentine. He's doing homework. So you can be my other valentine. Awesome. Is that a scar? Celebrated on Friday. Nice, nice. Yeah, I, Is that recent? Along with everything else this last year, this Valentine's Day is gonna be, you know, not the most social event ever. You've got to stop them. They have no idea what they're up against. Tell but them that's to all right. wait until it's I get be safe. There. Get back to them immediately, you hear me? You've got to stop them! I don't think I've ever seen William Defoe play a good guy role. In anything he ever does. I know. They're coming. Who's coming? Swat's coming. Oh shit. Oh shit. Have you ever, um, have you ever played this game? Box of music. This is a Beyond Two Souls. Hold on, well, what's going on? It's made oh, by the same earlier. people Where who did uh, Heavy Rain and Detroit Become Human. Yep. Oh, okay, you're in for a treat. It's so good and relatively short. I think like the average playtime for this game is ten hours, so we won't get to the whole thing today. But um, we'll get through a decent chunk. I haven't played many PlayStation games recently. That's fair. I don't have a working PC or computer strong enough to handle streaming or gaming, let alone both of them together. 
so we play a lot of PS4 games here because that's what we've got to work with. This right here is real intense. Like, that's a lot of grown dudes, heavily armed with armor, uh, for one person. <laughs> this goes at my parents' house, and laughs, I'm away at school. Oh, don't you hate that? Or maybe it helps, because you don't have it to distract you when you're at school. Maybe, I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> Yeah. All of my classes are online Johnny, right now, you so... Done? You know. It is what it is. I prefer in-class schooling, like on-campus stuff. But, um... But I have, like, my monitors and my laptop here, and then on the other side over here where you can't see is uh, my PS4. Um, but I keep it off when I'm not playing, so it's it's not as easy to get distracted by it as it could be if I left it on all the time and easily accessible. Same, but I had to teach on campus last semester, so I had to get an apartment. That makes sense. Are you, um... Is, is that what you want to do? Do you want to teach? Ah, there you are. are you getting your, How you doing your degree today, so you can become Good. a teacher, an educator? <laughs> I hate to bother you when you're playing and all, but, uh... Look at this time. little baby girl. Oh, we got some Barbies. Come on, some, girl, you'll have plenty of time to play Barbies. later. I switched to instructional design, so instead of teaching traditionally, I'll hopefully be creating and designing educational experiences such as online courses or games or apps. That's actually dope! Wait, that's so cool. I didn't even know that that was a thing, but it makes sense, and that's awesome. The Mad Druid 17. Hello, welcome on in. Happy Valentine's Day. How you doing? Uh, we're doing a thing today, tired, tonight, Jody, we really have to go. Um, because it's Valentine's Day and we are advocating for self-love. So if you wouldn't mind sharing one, you can share multiple, but if there's, if you could share one thing that you like about yourself... Um, I've got a list of things that I'll be writing down. Uh, affirmations that I will then be putting into this jar so that when I need a little pick-me-up at some point um, I have I have nice things about myself to read and talk about um, I'm happy that you could uh, swing by and say hello it's always good to see new faces phase hello hello how you doing friend I hope you're well. Happy Valentine's Day. I don't know if it's still Valentine's Day for you, but if it is, happy Valentine's Day. If not, it's still Valentine's Day for me, so I'm gonna wish you a happy Valentine's Day anyway. Um, oh yeah, I didn't mention my one thing or Hurry, affirmation. Jody. I like that when I have creative inspiration, my brain gets consumed by it and I just get in the zone. That's awesome, box of music. That's fantastic. That's a good one. I'm good. Happy V-Day to you too. Um, so since we've got a couple more people in, I will go ahead and write down my second affirmation. Which is... Oh, I misspelled that. Which is, I don't know if you know this, but I know this. I have a fantastic sense of humor. So, that's what I'm writing down. If you guys want to follow along and create a list of nice things that you like about yourself too, feel free to do so. I am writing mine down, folding these little post-it notes in half, and putting them in this drawer. 
so that I can read them Hurry, at some point later. Oh, I'm sorry. He's getting impatient. Sir, we're writing down affirmations. Could you be patient, please? Anywho, that's part of what we're doing tonight. Look at these little artworks. Look at these little artworks. Oh, oh, what is this? What is this? I don't remember how to how to do the things in this game. Okay. Okay, so that's just to look at stuff. Right. Where are you taking right. me, sir? He's waiting for us. Where are we going? Wait, what? what? Why is the control like that? That's weird. That is strange. Ah, oh, come on. I don't have any more Hi, change. Hi, Cole. Seriously? Hey, Alan. Okay, so his name is Cole. It is nearly ready. It was due two weeks ago. All right. Hello, precious. Don't you look pretty today? Oh, thanks so much. Here we are. It's gonna rain this weekend. We got a lot of rain this year. So why is this kid in a weird Come on, medical Jody. facility? Why? Why are the? Why is this the only kid in the whole place? What's up? Babysitting detail, huh, Cole? Uh, 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 very funny, Phil. Ah, uh, we Keep are moving. not a baby. Excuse you, hey, sir. Hey, Jody. How's your day been so far? Pretty good. Oh, we're supposed to do a thing. Okay, we're gonna put this on now. Remember? It's just like a crown. I don't remember anything. Oh, yeah. Oh, now you're a little princess. <laughs> it's a fantastic crown. The, the best the best of crowns. Everything's going to be fine. I'm right next door if you need me, okay? Hey, Jody, can you hear me? Okay, let's start. Kathleen is next door, and she has the same cards as you. And we're gonna get her to choose one, and see if you can tell us which one she chose. How the fuck? You think you can do that? How the fuck? I don't know. It's like a kid. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go for mm -hmm. it. First card. This to press triangle. Oh, okay, so we move from spot to spot. Okay. So she is holding a star. I'm go back over here. Yes. And press this again. And then we choose the star. Boom! We did the thing! Next card. Oh, we're doing it again? Okay. Mm hmm. She got a square. Oh, we can go over here now? Subject's heartbeat slows to 45 beats per minute. There's an increase in theta brain waves to 4.5 hertz. Excuse me, sir, what are theta brain waves? Temperatures drop <laughs> 10 degrees. Oh. Detecting a. What? Resonant magnetic signal. Oh shit, did we just. 
What happened? I didn't leave him alone. <laughs> we just possessed someone. Oh, Craig. <gasps> you okay? <laughs> He'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah. I'm fine. Are you sure? Uh, we can do this too. Hey. You feel that? The temperature's uh, down. The Madrid, this is Easier. Beyond Two Souls. That is the name of the game. It's a it's a story driven game about this girl, I didn't know. Jody, who lives with a spirit that's attached to her, and we get to like is not in a good mood today. we get to go He's back and playing forth, uh, Focus on playing the both as Jody and as this entity that's attached to Better her stop, that she calls Aiden. Okay, so I can't quite remember, but I think it was a square that was the next one. Can you see the car, Jody? So Aiden allows allows Jody to um, to affect next car the world physically and also kind of like seeing through a different pair of eyes. Yeah, it is cool, and. Um, the ending will definitely make me cry, although I don't think that we'll get to the ending tonight. This is about... This game takes about ten hours to get through. Uh, what is it? Waves? 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 Over here. Very good, Jody. But yeah, Let's try uh, something else. The, when we get to present tense in this game... Uh, the main character, Jody, is um, voice acted by, and I believe mo capped by as well, because you can see them, uh, by Elliot Page. So, good stuff. Did we not do the wavy waves? Oh, do we have to do another one? Okay, hold on. What's happening? What's happening? Oh, we're gonna cause some shit. Boom. Good, Jody. Anything else in the room you can move? Uh, you bet your ass we can. Here we go. Are you ready for this? Ready for this? Let's make it rain. Ready to make it rain? Boom. Oh shit. Oh shit. Uh, lady, you don't even know what you got yourself into. Okay, maybe that was a little much. Now we're just destroying property. Property That's damage. It. I'm sorry. I'm done. Okay, Jody, honey, the is over. It's locked. The door's locked! But we're just having fun. The plane is not locked. It's probably just stuck. Give us a moment. Get me out of here now! Calm down, Kathleen. Go get the door. You have to stop now, Jody. The test is over. You need to stop. That's not fun. I can't! He's not listening here! No! He's not listening! We just terrorize this poor woman. She's ready to like have a fucking heart attack or some shit. Oh, Jody. It's over, Jody. It's over. It's over. It will never be over. Talk to you later. I might pop back in if you're still on, but for now I gotta go. Have a good one, box of music. Thanks for popping in when for when there's long Whoa. Thanks for popping in for a bit. I appreciate you. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh. I am going to write out another 
affirmation uh Okay. Uh, oh, 75% of people left Kathleen alone. I definitely did not. I forgot it was Valentine's Day until today. I get that. It, it's been a rough... It's been a rough year. Uh, I mostly remember Valentine's Day because it's the day after my dad's birthday. And, uh, that's usually how I remember. Got my third affirmation here. Uh, <laughs> it might be biased, but what I wrote down was that I have a great taste in music. Because I do, damn it. I have a great taste in music. I'm gonna press next. While I fold this in half. Boop. And I put it... Oh, I almost knocked over my water glass. Put it in my little jar here. I missed. I missed the jar completely. There we go. There it is. And now we're all grown up. I'm going to pause for a second and move my face to the other side of the screen. Um, so that I can read the things because it looks like they're popping up on the right side. So we're going to change that real quick. So my face is going to disappear for a second. But you should still be able to hear me as I go through and change this. Um, I'm going to do this. And I'm going to change that. And we should be good right about there. Maybe. Possibly. Um, I am not using streaming software at the moment. I'm streaming directly from my PS4 because I don't have a computer that will handle streaming or gaming, let alone both of them together. Um, my PC is <laughs> not operable at the moment, so for now... We just stream from a PS4. That's, uh, that's how it's going. Well, let's see. I feel like everyone's looking at us. Oh, I didn't even press that's anything. I guess I ran out of time. Boop, boop, boop. What do I do if something goes wrong? There won't be anything you can do. That's what well, I that's nice. Most important thing, act natural. If anyone right. speaks to you, act just smile. Natural. So do you want me to act natural, or do you want me to smile? Mm. I didn't know you had a sense of humor. Only when I'm scared to death. Ryan, I'm delighted you could attend. Always a pleasure she come in. I uh, would like you to meet my assistant, Elizabeth. Oh, we get to play an assistant. American How diplomacy fun. Diplomacy was undertaken with such disarming charm. Pleasure is mine, Elizabeth. Gentlemen, I give you back your host. We'll talk later on that. Until then, Jay, Ryan. hello! Yes, Elliot Page is in this. We love Elliot Page. He hates me. The whole time he was imagining my head on a stick. He found you so charming. I take it, have you have you played this be before, Jay? Because I've played this through yeah, once shake some hands. in the Blend past. In. And quiet. You know what you have to do. I think we're gonna do a no spoilers run through Ambassador. of this game, but, uh, the, the ending absolutely destroyed me. I need to find a quiet place. Played this nine times. Oh my goodness. Okay. Nine times is a lot of times. How the fuck are we supposed to so find someplace quiet? In a party. This is fantastic. It's not bad. Nine times, oh my goodness. You've got me beat. Nothing to do with the with the fact that Elliot is one of my favorite actors and I love the story. It's a great story, it's fantastic. Nah. I 
Yeah. I promise that's not what women sound like in the bathroom. Yeah. Oh god. What's wrong with me? Oh, that is on. Please, please. Please, please. I forgot to mute my thing. And it was real loud. Oh, we need to sit on the shitter, but not shit. Great, 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 great. Uh, Jay, we're doing a thing hey. tonight because it's Valentine's Day and we're talking about self-love. We're doing a thing a where if you want to, Behind it you is would like to share one thing the documents we're looking for or more than one if you want. But there are uh, one thing that you'd like so about you have yourself to be careful. because you got it? we are making affirmation jars. I'm writing down things that I like about myself and I'm putting them in a little jar so that later uh, I can take them out and look at them when I need a little pick-me-up. It's just a fun little activity to do sometimes. I've forgotten how to move around. There we go. And the women have vanished. Hurry, I did. How strange. It hurts like hell when you're too far away. Oh, okay, well let's just... Let's just flounder about. Trying to figure out where I'm supposed to go or what to do. And now we have possessed this some. This is crazy. Okay. If anyone notices, we're dead. Damn it! That would have been fun, though. Be careful, lady. You know you can't touch other people when you're controlling someone. Oh. Oh, that's no An fun. Office. Portrait of the Sheik. Yep. This is the place. Okay, let's do it. Oh, let's do it. There's gotta be a switch somewhere. To move the painting. Okay, alright. Calm Find down. Find it, I didn't. Calm down. Elliot, please. We're trying to think. Oh no, I forgot about this dude. Hosam. اذهب والقي نظرة على مكتب السفير حاضر سأذهب حالا Shit About to be caught oh, The card's coming, don't move anything or he'll sound the alarm Oh Oops Okay أنا في المكتب كل شيء في مكانه Think. There must be another some way. appreciation for my strong legs, because I got strong legs. Hold on, I'm gonna pause this, because I don't know if this is a time set, if like timing affects the story at all. But I'm gonna go ahead and fold that up. There we go. We're gonna put it in the jar. Boom, we're gonna move on. Okay, what are we doing? Go back in, don't we? Uh, um, aha. Yes, yes, yes. This is the place. I didn't. Oh, oh, yes, do. yes. <laughs> do I, though? <laughs> do I? Do I know? Crap. You gotta distract the guard first. Well, you could have told me that before. Distract. How do? How do? You're heavy. Okay. I was distracted. Okay. Success? Nobody will be able to monitor the main office now. Okay, great. We should be safe. Uh, where's the main office? There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. 
Why do I always get panicked? I always panic. Why do I always get so panicky? Boop. And the boop. Great. Fantastic. And then we do the thing. Now let's see if you can open the safe. Yes. 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 Success. Now we have to read the documents. Make it quick. I can't hold on much longer. Okay. Okay. Now don't move. First time I played this, I was like, what the fuck am I supposed to be doing? I didn't realize that you had to like press and hold. And it made me real confused. Um, honey, your nose is bleeding. What what's your what's the character's name? Jody? Jody, your nose is bleeding. Sir, this is a women's restroom. Don't belong in here, sir. <laughs> she cute. Yeah, sure, just like come on in. <laughs> No biggie. So Sorry. Walk in to me, walk in on me in the bathroom damage. all the time. No worries. Not weird. Not weird. Oh, oh, we're supposed to be standing up. Oops, I nah. Wait, what? Ha Excuse me. There we go. Now we're doing it. Can we like rinse our face off or something? There we go. There we go. I like that uh I was going to say necklace. That's definitely a bracelet. I like the bracelet that she has on. I like the little like you know, though. You know, you know what it is. Heavy breathing. Okay, now we find our guy. There he is. Jody, all right? Don't touch me! Oh. I want to go now. Right. Yeah, we're leaving. Oh, this is such a good story. Okay, we made it through the embassy. Um... Hold on. There was an unplayed path there that we could have done. I don't know what it is. But that's cool. Uh, I'm going to do another affirmation real quick. What's the next thing I have on my list? Um, I have... One of my front teeth, right there, is like a little bit crooked. Not enough to like throw off my whole bite or anything like that. But I like to think that it gives my smile some character. And so I love my little crooked front tooth. And that's what I'm writing down. Boom. There it is. It's written down. We're going to wait for that to dry and then we're going to fold it in half like the rest of them and put it in our little affirmation jar. Please, at any point, if you would like to share something that you like about yourself, 
pop it in the chat so we can all celebrate you and the things you like about yourself because self-love is important and we're gonna press continue this is probably dry enough it's dry enough to fold in half and da -da. we've got it it is in half there it is and we've gone back in time again as Jody putting it in the drawer yes listen I'm not sure boom it's in the drawer maybe I shouldn't go got Jody little teenage this. Jody You're now. Not back up now I don't know anybody there they might all hate me and stress is awful let's just go just take a deep breath I mean it's There's a, no reason to pay enough. it's a pretty awful dress I'm not gonna lie party. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it Jody I'm it's sure a bad dress will like you you'll have fun maybe meet some new friends go on boop Oh, don't forget your present. Right, my present. It's a book of poetry by Poe. It's 50 years old and very rare. I'm sure she'll like it. Don't yeah, because teenage girls it's love that. Right. <laughs> they definitely love Have fun. Uh, rare collections of poetry by Edgar Allan Poe. That's what, that's every teenage girl's dream. Congrats, Mr. Defoe. You've done it. You've found, you have figured out what the teens love. Ding dong. I loved Edgar Allan Poe growing up. I liked Edgar Allan Poe growing up as hey, well. Jody, the Mad Druid. Uh, hey, Kirsten, you come I got, I we're go. actually um, come in, Jody. Don't be shy. Hey, Jody, on my right? come on, we're in the living room. Some girls My mother's school, side of the family. Was oh, it a present for me? Edgar Allan cool. Poe is like Thanks. her great times six I'm off, darling. uncle we'll or something like that. Don't do anything stupid, all right? Um, Sure, mom. Whatever you say. And I definitely, I, I love dark poetry. Finally, she gets the hint. And so Poe was always right up my alley growing up as a kid too. Everyone, but this is Jody. It wasn't She's like, it, it's not like a mainstream normal Arnold thing. Ooh, normal, what whatever the there? fuck that means. Ben like, speak to dead people? No. Stuff like Edgar Allan Poe is no. not usually what children <laughs> love time. growing up. You know I'll what I mean? Beer. Guys, do the shutters. Girls, do the candles. And Jody, you can. But I do understand. Let's get crazy. Appreciating his writing because I definitely do. Awesome. Let's party. Well, some music. It's not party without some music. Get up, country, pop, rock. Let's get some rock music on. Maybe that's not party music. Let's try pop. What's this? Here it is. What kind All right. of garbage is that? Just over. What do you mean? It's, it's pop music. This what the century. fuck are you talking about? Something really popping. <laughs> Whatever, girl. Uh, let's see. I'm autistic, ADHD, OCD. CPTSD ticks and was isolated for 20 years. Yeah, I don't know what normal is. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, normal is definitely like subjective. It's a subjective term. But, you know. Uh, yeah, I want a beer. Shit. We're at a party. We're trying to fit in. I want a beer. <laughs> hey, don't choke on it. What's normal to the spider is chaos to the fly. Yeah. No, I've had some before. <laughs> of course, oh, you Jody, can. you're trying so hard, honey. <laughs> honey. Uh, we do not. Need, you don't need another beer, Jody. Should we sit down?
Ah, the awkward sit down on a couch as people do the things. Okay. Want some? Uh, what is it? Oh, he's got a joint. Hell yeah, I want some. Sure. Joey's getting lit. First time, huh? They've got me that way too. <laughs> that face. What the fuck is this music that they're listening to? Great. You okay, Jody? You're acting kind of weird. And she's high as fuck. Perfect. Leave her alone. You sure you feel all right? You're not looking too hot, Jody. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. You're wondering what? why we're here. I'm thinking the same thing. You're here because uh, William Defoe's character thought it would be great for you to socialize you with like people your age. That's why you're there. Go out and have friends. This is not what I expected. I bet not. Okay, so we just came out of that room. Can we go over here? No. Nothing over there. Okay, let's go over here. Boop. Beep boop. Nothing? Nothing? Nothing. Not a thing. Ah, we can go upstairs. Oh. We can't go upstairs. We cannot go upstairs. Okay, let's continue. Okay. Yeah, it's a real, real good party we got here. Great, much fun. Who are you? Hi, hi, I'm Matt. You Jody, can't see right? his face. He's like kind of cute. He's all right. I've never seen you at school before. You don't take classes on bass? I'm in a different program with, with my own teacher. Great. Because I sure do remember if I'd seen you around before. Aha, uh -huh, is this so flirting? You work with Kirsten's mother? I've never met Kirsten before. Her mom works in my unit, and that's why I was invited. I used to live in, in London before I moved here two years ago. And you? Where did you live before? Ooh, London boy. On, on the base. I, I, I've always lived there. I was born there. Do you have any hobbies? Anything you do for, like, fun? I surf any chance yeah, I Yeah, we talked to the spirit that's attached to us. And you, what, what are you into? gonna sound really boring. I, I like to read. Fuck yeah! I like to read too! I like sports. <laughs> I mean, I, I can't I, I can't leave the base, so it, it sort of limits things. Can I... Can I ask you something? Why are you in Unit 4? I sort of... I have you what? A gift. You what, Jody? Link was an entity. An entity? You mean, you mean a ghost or something like that? Something like that. Well, this is gonna sound really crazy, but it's kind of like a, like an invisible presence that follows me. 
is it, I, yeah, is I gave him a now? name. His name's Aiden, and he follows me around everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's listening to us. Oh, slow down. Slow this poor kid you, you probably thinks that we're like fucking crazy. Sure. <sighs> yeah, let's dance. Watch your hands, sir. Oh, look, the awkward slow dance. You know, I'm sure you hear this all the time, but you're really pretty, you know? I mean, this. Oh, this classic. The, the, oh, he's he's doing all the classic lines. Thanks. You don't really know me. <laughs> well, that's true. Ah, uh, sir. This is a Wendy's. Yeah. Ah, panic. Thanks for the dance, Matt, but I, I think I'll pass. Ah. Thank you, guys, Did you ask guys, for consent, sir? Why doesn't Jody give us a demonstration of her super mega powers? <laughs> no, 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 no. That, that sounds like a great that. idea. Ugh, forget it. It's just a little bull. Yeah, come on, Jody. Show us what you can do. Okay, Jody. You up for demonstration? Sure, let's right, fuck shit up. So, what are you gonna do, Jody? We're gonna fuck shit up. What do you think? Just be quiet. What do you think? And don't move. Oh, I'm scared already. Mm. I just want my pants. <laughs> Shut up, Steven. <laughs> Alright, so. What's it gonna be? Alright, let's do this. Yeah, boop. All the candles out. Ooh, Aiden likes to listen to. <laughs> ah, so scary! Oh my god! Is that dip? The table. Look at the yep. table. <laughs> I like that the dude who's okay, high I've is the enough. one that's like, yeah, Oh my god, look! That, that was Guys, really scary. Did, you, did you see that? Did you just see the things fall I everywhere? Oh my god. To frighten anyone. Sorry, I... You know, you guys insisted and... Right, okay guys, it's time to eat that delicious cake and most important, to open my birthday <sighs> gifts. Ooh, presents! We love presents. Actually, the cake can wait. I'm opening my gifts first. Love, Jen. X, X, X. Oh, that's nice, I always babe. forget. Are the X's hugs sauce. or are the X's kisses? I don't remember. I don't ever remember. Long. Just exactly what I needed. Are the X's yeah, hugs? Because, like, your mom's <laughs> hugs? Give you a chance you know? to find a decent boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> X or kisses? Okay. My future lover wants to thank you Got for it. making thank his you. life more interesting. Thank you. I appreciate that. I never remember. What is that? An old book. Uh, it's it an expensive funky. old book, excuse you. It's a really rare collection. Uh, poems by Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar Allan who? What, did you steal this from your grandpa's library? I can't believe none no, of these people know really who Poe rare. is. Yeah. Rude! And just like your dress. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it's, seriously, it's, is this a joke? It's not a great dress. I can't believe came all the way to my birthday party just to give me this old crap. And she thinks you she's so clever. Bitch. Or she's just a little lab rat. A yeah, freaky bitch. little lab rat. Yeah. You should be grateful like for getting anything at all. Oh, excuse me, her. sir. Oh. And she's a slut, too. 
I never wanted to invite her. My mom made mm, me. I don't like this. Yeah, she's a slut. A slut and a witch. <sighs> we should like slut shaming. Do something. That's fantastic. What did you do she said sarcastically. Burn them. Because it's definitely not fantastic. Ah, oh, that's fucking rude. <laughs> We're supposed to be shaking? We shake? We shake. We shake? Hello? We shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Please, please let me out! I'm begging you, please let me out! This would be absolutely traumatizing. Did someone say cake? Please! Yeah, all this excitement is making me hungry. Yeah, let's get this party started! What was the title? The title is uh, Beyond Two Souls. Beyond. Colon. Two Souls. I've been locked in something. It was traumatizing. I imagine so. Um, I know some people who are claustrophobic here. in my life, Please. and like, it's it's rough for the, like it's, ooh, it's rough. I myself uh, actually prefer small spaces. Uh, I was always one of those weird kids that was like <laughs> climbing into things, but I've I've never been. I've never had small spaces turned into something traumatic, so... I didn't... You know. I oh, sorry, we're supposed to be... supposed to be doing this. Come and help me! Okay, alright. There we go. You okay? Let's, let's... Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Okay, breathe. You're gonna be okay. Oh! Do we leave or do we get revenge? We're fucking getting revenge. We're gonna get revenge. Go, Aiden. Oh, fuck. Hell yeah! Alright, let's fucking do it. Let's show these mean kids... Who's boss? You're gonna lock me in the fucking closet? You're gonna destroy your cake. Hey, it wasn't me. I didn't do it this time. Maybe it was Jody. Maybe it was your mom. I'll bet. I'll bet. Let's go. Shit, that's crazy. I'm getting out of here. Hey, don't leave me alone. Oh, 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 wait for me. <laughs> Peace, bitches. The door. It won't open. It's impossible. Try harder. I'm telling you, it's locked. Oh, it's not nice to be locked in somewhere, is it? Don't mess with Jody. The last time I played this game, I I did the the turn the other cheek thing instead of getting revenge. I do have to say that this is a lot more fun. Whoop. I know there's someone here. I know there's someone here. And here we go. Boop. Just a gentle boop. Just the gentlest of boops. Oh, we don't want to do property damage. Boom. Oh, this is so much fun. This is way better than turning the other cheek. I want to wake up! <laughs> I want to wake up! Oh my god. Oh. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Um, I've added this to my wish list. It looks so good. It is so good. It's a great story. Oh! I hope you get to play it. It's great. <laughs> oh, well, did we make a mess? I'm so sorry. What are you talking about? Are we just minding our own business, standing outside. 
The de I don't Let's know what go. you're talking about. The devil, please. The one who locked her in a closet. She had to come out of the closet and it was very traumatizing. Uh, since we've finished another section, I think I'm gonna jot down another affirmation. What's next? What did I write down? I said, the mole on the back of my neck is cute. So here's the thing. I have a mole on the back of my neck and I didn't know that it was there until I decided to cut my hair short for the first time. I was, uh, it was summertime between my sophomore and junior year of high school when I decided to get a pixie cut because there's a lot of stuff happening um, in my personal slash home life and I wanted a physical change to kind of like mirror the changes that were going on that people couldn't see necessarily so I decided to cut my hair and I've never gone back to having long hair I've had I had short hair for coming up on 10 years so a decent a decent amount of time no not 10 years. 8 years. I've had short hair for 8 years. I mean, if you round up, it's closer to 10 years, but still. It's been like 8 years since I had short hair. And um, then I noticed a little mole on the back of my neck. And she's real cute. So... That is something that I like about myself. And we are writing it down. And we're going to fold it up and put it in the jar. Let's see. I just cut my hair to let my Jewish curls grow out. I really love my Jewish curls. No more hiding them. Hell yeah, I love that for you. Show them curls off. I love curly hair. I actually... Um, I perm my hair so that it looks curly. I have naturally wavy hair, but because I keep it so short, um, you can't really tell. When my hair was long, it was gorgeous, wavy, like just like shampoo commercial hair. Um, but I never liked having my hair in my face, so I always like wore it in like a ponytail or braided. Um, so it, you know. You couldn't tell that I had gorgeous hair because it was always like pulled back tied back um, and and now I just like having short hair so people don't get to see that I have like really nice wavy hair because it's always short so to counteract that um, I think the first time I I did the whole perm thing was like a year ago and I've done it twice twice yes and um i got my hair cut today and we just cut off the last of the curls so once it's uh, i'm gonna let it grow out a bit on the top so that <coughs> excuse me so that when i one more <coughs> excuse me so that when the next time I perm it, it'll be too long. My hair will be too long, and then I will get it permed, and then it will be perfect head banging length, and it'll be great. Um, I miss my curls. My hair used to be down to my butt. I, I, I had a hair down to my butt until I was probably... 12 and then I like I got it cut like gradually shorter um, and then by the time I got my the first time I cut it like short short like pixie short um, I had it like probably down to my shoulder blades that's about how long it was and then I cut it all off and 
was like, fuck it, I don't want hair. Uh, it's what I'm going for again. I just had to cut off the dead white stuff. Yeah, you're, well, I mean, if you want hair down to your butt, if you want, like, long, long hair, the best thing you can do is get it cut regularly because it will help, um, it will help healthy hair growth. What's the matter? You don't want to play? Mm, boop. And we see this office. What is in this office? Oh man, we can't mess with the chair because she's sitting in it. Mm, dang it. There's nothing I can mess with in here? Okay, he's waiting. Fine. Fine. I am going to use the restroom really quickly because um, I have had all of my water and now I have to pee. Uh, so I'm going to take a quick, up. hold on, I'm going to pause this. I'm going to take a quick restroom break, grab some water, do that whole thing. So if you need to or you would like to get something to eat, stretch your legs, get something to drink, anything like that, uh, call your mom and tell her that you love her. Now is a good time to do so, you won't miss anything. I like to run an ad break when I take a break so that people who pop into the stream after we take, after we take this little break, don't have to watch pre-roll ads. So while I am gone, there will be a couple of ads that pop up. And then I'll be back and we'll get down to it and I'll probably um, write down another affirmation to put in my little jar when ooh, when I come back from break. But in the meantime, do what you gotta do. So, could you stay? Thank you. So I'm gonna run to the restroom and I'll be back in a couple of minutes. So please take care of your bodies. If you haven't already, have some water. Make sure you've eaten something today. Um, do the things. You know, you know the things. You know the things. I'll be back.
I am back. Uh, before we hop back into the game, where's my phone? It's in my pocket. I threw my phone on the floor. As you do, you know. Uh, I am going to write down my next affirmation. We're gonna do it. What's the next one on the list? Ah, what did I say? Okay. Uh, I am writing down my next thing that I wrote down that I like about myself is um, my resiliency. So I wrote down you are resilient. Keep at it. So, we're going to fold this in half, like so. There it is. We are going to open the jar, put it in. I'm actually going to write down the next one, too, uh, which <laughs> I wrote in all caps. I love my hair. So that's exactly what I'm going to write. All caps. I love my hair. Exclamation point. Because I do. I love it. I love it so much. I'll never go back to having long hair. Short hair for life. Short hair, don't care. I love it. It feels like me and we're putting it in I might have to start folding these in like quarters cuz actually yeah I'm gonna do that real quick I'm gonna take these out fold them in half again so more of them fit in here and they don't like get like crushed so let's just do that real quick Real quick, then we'll jump back into the game. That's in half, and in half again. Boop, into the jar. Okay, do the same with this one. There it is. Boop, number three. There's four into the jar. Five. Oop, that one wants to curl. There's six. Seven and eight affirmations are in the jar. There we go. Close that up. Set this aside. Fantastic. Okay. Let's continue. How we doing? We doing all right? Hello, Jody. Come in. You doing all right, chat? Oh, My name is want. Nathan. Nathan Dawkins. I thought it would be a good idea for us to have a look, chat, have a little get thing to know each other a little better. A little honeydew thing with If it's okay with you, chocolates. of course. This one is caramel. That one is cookies and cream. Double crisp. I'm guessing that's like a crunch bar. What's this one? What's this one? <gasps> peanut butter. I'm gonna take a peanut butter out. And I'm gonna take a caramel out. Look at these cute little heart shaped chocolates. They're so cute. Okay, let's see what's going on here. We have a. Uh, my grandparents ordered Thai food for dinner, so f dinner is on the way. But your girl is hungry. So we just gonna have something to... They're pretty boring um, books. To be honest, I haven't read them Keep all. our blood sugar up so that we're not, like, droopy. You like to read? Mm, I've never had Thai. I've had Thai food only once before. 
um and then we, i went to eat went out to eat with friends i forgot what i had got i think i had like it was some sort of noodle dish i don't quite remember jody my job is i to liked study it but i don't even remember what it was events. And then try so to I, think, I think they just ordered a bunch of different things to see what they like. Like the things that happen around you, right, Johnny? Uh, sure, yeah. Your mother tells me you have an invisible friend. Mm-hmm. You do. This friend has he been with you a long time? The longest of times. Since you were born? Is he a ghost? Mm. Or a spirit of someone who passed away? I don't know. She's a kid. How Can is she supposed to know? Draw him from me? Draw him. Sure. Kind of kid doesn't like arts and crafts. Oh, he's waiting for me to draw. Okay, Mr. Defoe, hold that thought. I don't even know what this guy's what this what this character's name is. I just keep calling him Defoe. Cause it's William Defoe. You know what I mean? I'm just moving my podcast mic over here because I keep I keep bumping into it. And I'm not about that. So that's out of the way now. Um Yeah. I draw a pretty picture. Pretty picture. Oh shit, I have a trigger warning for a different game turned on right now. Let me fix that. <clears throat> Let me go back. I'll, I have to go into my chat bot and fix that real quick because it's going to bother me if I keep seeing that. Mind if I take a look? This game should also need a trigger warning. No, you're right. Um, I'm about to go in and change that right now. So, this thing is your friend, and he's connected to you with some kind of cord. I just, the, the trigger is warning that... Right that um, stream elements put up a second ago was for um, can you tell him to do something? when I was playing the last of us 2 but this oh, I'm trying to think of all the things that could be triggering in this there is violence not so much gore but there is some bullying. There is um I think there's I think there's uh <laughs> It's triggering towards how people treat people with mental disabilities. You're absolutely right. And I'm trying to figure out the best way to word that. You know what I mean? Um, let's see. Uh...
I think there's some substance abuse stuff that pops up later. Um, there's definitely manipulation happening. Oh yeah, words aren't my forte. Underage drug. I I don't think uh, if I'm rem remembering correctly. Um, other than that party scene where you get to choose whether or not you you drink and smoke, I think the the substance abuse that I was thinking of happens later in the game, and I think not to the main character. I don't think I don't think it's Jody that's affected by it personally, but it is still a topic that is shown. Uh, there is some homelessness that is portrayed. I spelled that wrong. How do you spell that? Another S. There is some assault that happens. There's... Um, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say that. Turn that on. If you would like to type exclamation point trigger in the chat, that should pop up what I just set as a trigger warning. Um, now I'm going to thank you for doing that if at any point you see something or you feel something creeping up and you think a trigger warning is necessary f please feel free to go ahead and do uh, and drop that command um, I will try to do so as well I'm also going to go in and change the text on my automated trigger warning to match what we just did and I'm going to press save on that so every half an hour or so a little more than half an hour every every 37 minutes but that's not important um, there will be a trigger warning automatically put out by stream elements but in the meantime if we think that it's necessary at all at any point please feel free to exclamation point trigger to help out with that so that everyone feels safe and can take care of themselves because mental health is important and we don't want anyone to feel like they can't be here and be safe and be seen so I think we're okay with that now. I'm going to keep my chatbot open just in case we need to fiddle with anything else. All right. Let's do it. Uh, I don't remember the question. Oh, are they waiting for us? Got it, got it, got it. Okay. Uh, I think we're showing him that, 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 we're, that the entity is real. You tell him what to do, and it happens. Well, he's kind of got a mind of his own, I don't but... don't tell Aiden what to do. No one does. There you go. He's like a lion in a cage. We're a, we're a team. Tied together. He can't go away. That makes him really angry. Oh. It's not my fault. Shit, he's I want angry? Him to leave too. We don't want an angry entity. It can be we really want a helpful scary entity. sometimes. Did, did he do that to you? 
<gasps> no. Oh fuck, I hope not. Oh good. That was the monster. The, excuse me? I forgot about the monsters. I need to get this stream elements thing. It looks so handy. Oh, okay. So, stream elements is a chat bot that you can use for Twitch and YouTube and other sites, other live streaming things. Um, I use it as my main chat bot for chat commands and chat bot timers. And um, it's really handy. It's really simple. Um, within Stream Elements, you also have the ability to create and set up overlays for your streams and stuff like that. I'm not utilizing that part at the moment because, like I mentioned earlier, my computer can't handle streaming at the moment, so I stream directly from PS4, but it's it's still a very handy chatbot to use. I use a couple of different ones, um, like for Discord and stuff, but on when I when I stream on Twitch, pretty much all of my timers and commands come through stream elements, just because it's it's easy and it's simple and it's quick. Um, so yeah. You should check it out if you want to, and don't apologize for not knowing, it's... We, we all learn as we go. Some people really love using chatbots, some people don't. I find it very handy. I want to, at some point, when I have time, sit down and... add sound commands to the stream. I think that would be really fun. I just haven't found the time to do it yet. Your room. But so you'll study and sleep the, the day that I Training starts tomorrow start streaming with uh, with sound commands is gonna be lit. Get baby Jody all grown up. Keep up! Okay, we're keeping up, coach. We're keeping up. Boop. Did the boop. Okay. Did the boop. Great. How are we doing this? And. Find your grip! Just Use your across. momentum to swing across! Alright! Alright, you no need to yell, sir. doesn't have all day, don't you know? He doesn't have all day. Ooh, we fighting now. We fighting. Boop. Great. And now we kick. And are you gonna show me? Okay, there we go. Boop, boop. What are we doing here? Okay. Now we're du we're ducking under. Great. Boop. And the boop. And the oh oh shit. Oh shit. If Jody's arms are moving towards the left of the screen, push the right stick to the left. What? Boop. 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 See, I thought again. that we were ducking and then I pressed the wrong direction. Because I was expecting to duck, but that wasn't the right thing to do. Boop. 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 Now we duck. Okay. There it is. Okay, alright. Cool, 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 cool. Let's go! Oh, shit! I feel like Elliot Page just punched me in the face, and I'm okay with that. 
advance to the next cover. Got it? We got it. Oh, we got it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, what? <laughs> I didn't press the button. Uh, cover is X. Okay. Get out of there! What? And is everyone there? There's no one there. Boo! We're gonna go right there. Right there. Boop! And boop! And we're gonna go there. Yep, yep, yep. Boom! Okay. Jump. Jump. There we go. There we- Ooh! No, we pressed the wrong button! Too slow, Jody! Make every second count! Oh, I'm so sorry! For the fucking thing I've said! Sir. This is a Wendy's. There's no need to yell. We need to know math for the CIA or FBI. Hey, slow, Who the fuck Jody. do we work for? I think the CIA. I think okay, this recruit. is CIA training. Now get rid of those oil drums. Okay. Oh goodness. Uh. Yep. Okay. Uh. That one. Mm, yeah. How you like that? And boop. And boop. Nope, not that one. There we go. Uh, nope, that one. There we go. Boop. Okay. Well, do you want more? There we go. Good. Let's keep going. Oh, oh, I'm getting a headache. That's not good. The stress. Are you ready? Are you ready? Fight! Oh, too slow. Okay. All right. All right. I see you. Get it. Oh, ooh, nice, nice, nice. Boop. And why do they throw around insults? I don't understand that part of the training. Like, what? Why must you yell insults at me? I don't understand. She's not fat? Like, sub like, objectively, she is not overweight. So, I am confused. Move it, recruit! It's not a fucking Sunday stroll! Yeah, no shit, it's raining. We're wearing, like, no clothes. Boop da boop. And da boops. All of da boops. There you go. Come on. You got this. You got this. Let's go. Fantastic. Oh, we got that stance happening. Got that stretch happening. There we go. Oh, shit. <laughs> I just pulled a groin. Oh, no. <gasps> we can heal. We can heal. Hard to control, but let's do it. Ha! Very nice. Very nice. There it is. And 
other side. There we go. And up again. Oh, no, we just collapsed. Who's he have on his back? Oh, shit. Are we fighting both of them? Or no, just, just the one guy? Oh, ho, ho. shit. Yes, Jody. Fucking yes. Oh, that's just bitching. Yes, girl. Get it, Jody. Yeah, Not you bad. tap out. You tap that man, sir. Tap it. Tap it. Jody's a little badass. Now we got some real training. Hmm. Oh, excuse me. Use Iden to distract enemy soldiers. Boop. down. Boop. Oh, we booped him. That's so nice. Da -da. There was a dude over here before and I don't know where he is, but I think we can use Aiden to see. So he's over there. So I think we're gonna try and sneak here and then use Iden to hit the, the, the barrel thing, right? I think that's the move. Boop. And then this right to there and this so he doesn't see us. You want to get shot? Ah, damn Come it. Come on, start again. Well, how Tiffa. Okay, Aiden, let's go. Let's go. that wrong before. I don't know how we're supposed to do it. Um, because I think as soon as we move, th that guy starts walking towards us. I don't think I can affect him, per se. I don't remember. All right, let's just we'll just try this again. Boop and the boop. Uh, there it is. Uh, good enough. See what's going on now. Let's go over here. Yes, yes. Alright, so you got a dude there. Let's come over here. The instructor's on top. Got someone else there. It's 
I think we only have two more people to get through. We're on the other side of that. It's over there. Okay. Let's wait till he walks past. Yep, yep, yep. There it is. Can we take you out from here? Yes, we can. There it is. Okay, there's an enemy on the roof there and another down here. I think I have to take the guy up top down first. Does that make sense at all? Okay. Don't let him see us. How? How? I know we have to go around, but I'm not quite sure how. Um, can I... Boop. Boop. Up. No. No up. Okay. Alright, uh, where are we? No, 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 stop. Oh god. Controls. What are controls? What even are controls? I guess we'll try climbing and hope that he doesn't see us. Boop. And... Boop. Ooh, that was close. Okay, shit. Where's the last homie? Um, I can't see him. Oh, he's right there. Right there. Okay. Did we do it? We did it. Not bad, Jody. Oh, we didn't do it. Exercise, you'd be dead by now. We did it, but we didn't. If this wasn't an exercise, you wouldn't even be able to open your big mouth. Oh shit! <laughs> Congratulations, Operative Holmes. I didn't done did it. possess that guy. Welcome to the agency. Thank you, sir. Sir, he's like twelve years yeah, old. Jody. Are you kidding me? Welcome to the agency, yeah, sir. Like you made it, up, Jody. Congratulations. I am writing down another affirmation. Uh, how do I want to word this? Okay. So, fun thing about me is that I don't have, like... By the way, I'm listening just also gaming. Totally understand. Uh, what are you playing? Please share. We're just gonna fold this up. There we go. Uh, I was gonna say, what was I saying? Oh. I don't have, like, a laugh. I have, like, 12 different laughs. House flipper. Nice. Noise, noise. Is that usually the kind of game that you like to play? I always, I always like intend to play nice chill games like that. Um, I've thought about streaming like The Sims, maybe, but I, I do better with like I'm a sucker for a good story, 
So like story based games is usually what I stream uh, because I'm just like a slut for storytelling. Especially when it's good. And I'm gonna write down another affirmation while we're here. And I always forget like I, I could stream nice chill games. I just I just never do. Um, so we got the one about my laugh. My next affirmation is... Uh, I'm gonna say, you can adapt like a motherfucker. Because I can. I've got like 6,000 hours in The Sims 4 alone. Oh my goodness. I could never. I could never. How? How? That's so much time. I just barely got into Skyrim and like Dragon Age Inquisition. I'm so behind on so many games. I can't work or sleep. <laughs> Lol. Relatable. I too am unemployed at the moment. I do like some like side work under the table occasionally like uh, home renovation and construction and stuff like that but I haven't been doing a whole lot because I live with people who are high risk for COVID and I'm trying to be careful um, and then sleep I have been in insomniac since I was a small child so relatable I've just now started social media and stuff it's been eight years since I've been able to work oh my goodness I am someone um, I'm someone who, like, has to stay busy, um, and work is something for me that's, like, super gratifying because it, it lets me, like, feel like I've done something productive and also money. <laughs> I'm a Capricorn, so, like, I like, I like to have some, some, some cash to work with, but, um, this last year has been crazy and job hunting right now is absolutely insane and then on top of that like going out to a workplace every day and pos like the possibility of um coming in contact with someone who is sick like i just i can't justify doing any of that right now so it's like i've i'm i'm kind of like treading water at the moment because I also don't have the money right now to to take the classes that I want because they require outside materials and so it's like nah, nah. same I'm so happy to be able to stream and chat with others it keeps me busy and has been helping with my depression insanely I've never been so happy that's amazing I'm so happy for you um Careful, they're putting DNR orders on people with learning disabilities. Really? Wow. Well, what the fuck? Oh, that's insane. I am so glad that you are... Um, that, that, that streaming has been um, such a positive for you. I understand completely. I started streaming last... April maybe um I, I I I like I I downloaded Twitch and made an account and it was right around uh the time that The Last of Us 2 came out and I watched a few people stream The Last of Us 2 after of course after I had played it myself cuz spoilers um but I like for for a, for a few months I just like watched stuff on Twitch people people stream um, thank you Druid I appreciate that that means so much um, and then eventually someone that I am now very good friends with but I, I had just met this person through Twitter I've been following you on Twitter for a bit now oh awesome dope um, uh, one of my good friends uh, it, stre it also streams on Twitch, but we started, we started like, really getting into streaming together around the same time. 
Uh, he's not in chat at the moment, but he is one of my mods. Uh, terrible gamer. Let me just shout him out as I'm talking about him. Um, so he and I were talking about games and stuff. Uh, let me see if I spell that correctly. And um, I was at the time really obsessed with um, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And I had mentioned that I was obsessed with it. And my dude was like, I've never played that game. And I was like, oh, well, I have a Twitch account. Maybe I'll just stream so you can see it. And thus started the, the experience about that. <clears throat> Super lazy genius. Hello. Welcome. Thank you for the raid. Welcome on in. How you doing? Happy Valentine's Day. What's happening? Oh my goodness. Um, hi. Happy Valentine's Day. How are you doing? What's going on? What were you playing? Tell me all about it. If you would like to. I'm not I'm not like I'm like I'm not like telling you that you have to, but if you would like to share, please feel free to do so. I would love to hear all about it. Um, boring old Skyrim. How could you even call Skyrim boring? I don't understand. I don't understand. I, um, I started playing Skyrim a couple of weeks ago for the first time because I had never played it and um, am very much enjoying it. What... What kind of character have you- what's like, what's your build? What's your th like, do you have a thing? What do you like? Tell me about it. Um. Hi, Medrude sent me here to check you out. Hello, Bobby, welcome on in. I appreciate you. Thank you for the follow, friend. Skyrim is- is coral. Coral means cool. Okay, awesome. Coral. Sweet. Um, welcome on in, friends. Happy Valentine's Day for those of you who don't know me. My name is Kamiko. You can call me Miku if you'd like. I always um, explain the pronunciation for my name by saying that it's pronounced like Miko, the raccoon from Pocahontas, and I've kind of inadvertently become a raccoon. Um, so, <laughs> Necromancer Archer, that's dope. Uh, Miko, it's yes, spelled with an E. It's like M E K O. Um, and so I've kind of in inadvertently become a raccoon. So, welcome, welcome to the den. Y'all are now little raccoons as well. Oh, wait a minute, what am I waiting for? Oh my goodness, what's happening? Sir Javers, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Welcome to the den. Get cozy. It's Valentine's Day. Ah oh, yes, the raccoonification. For sure. Absolutely, 100%. Um, we are doing a fun thing for Valent- Well, I don't know if it's fun. It could be fun. I think- I'm finding it fun. We're making affirmation, affirmation jars. So, um, I was talking to someone this morning on Twitter about- ways that people practice self-love and i remembered doing this activity uh when i was in high school not like for high school outside of school but but like that i was that old i was like 16 um and we got together and like wrote down things that we liked about ourselves and things that we liked about the people who were participating in this activity and uh, we, you know, wrote them down, put them in envelopes, all that stuff. Oh, goodness. And so I'm, I'm, you know, I've been writing down affirmations and putting them in the jar. If you would like to share, feel free to do so. If you could tell me or tell us, tell the chat one thing that you like about yourself. It, it doesn't have to be a lot, just, just one little thing. Um, so that we can celebrate you and why you're fucking fantastic, because I'm sure all of you are the most fantastic little raccoons to ever be raccoons. So, if you would like to participate in that, please feel free to do so. Um, I just thought it would be a fun little thing. 
especially since I haven't made an affirmation jar in a while. I thought it would be a nice, nice little activity. I wasn't told there'd be a quiz. I promise that I didn't study. <laughs> it's not, it's not, <laughs> I'm not ready. Wait, I need my number two pencil. Um, not a test. You don't, you don't have to do it at all. I just thought it would be a fun activity and a way to get people talking about loving the little things in our lives, the little things about ourself. Um, there's a lot of, um, you know, negativity out in the ether right now. And we're just trying to, trying to redirect that. Um, my pencil eraser and peppermint candies. Very nice. Very nice. I, I think that that's fantastic. I will allow peppermint candies for this test. You may have them. Um, let's see. Madrid said, Jabbers is my fiance. Bobby's my friend. Oh, dope. Appreciate you bringing your people on through. That's really awesome. I like that I've been working hard on my goals for the past few months and I'm starting to see some results. Fuck yeah. Congrats, Jabbers. That's amazing. Um, what is... I had... I have pre-written down some of my affirmations so that I didn't forget. Uh, my next affirmation is the fact that I can cook like a boss bitch. Um... <laughs> You can, you can cook. Anyone can cook. Quick, name that movie. Uh, so today marks the fourth Valentine's Day with my girlfriend, I suppose. Uh, happy, happy four years. Congrats. Happy for you, super lazy genius. That's great. Ratatouille, you are correct. That is correct. You you got the answer. You get a you get a sticker, you get a gold star. You did it. You won. You won. I like to say that like 80% of my head is uh, song lyrics, movie quotes lines from TV shows, etc. Um, so I make a lot of references to things. Sometimes I even forget like to say that they're a reference to something. Um, but yeah. Am I autistic? I am not autistic. But I know a bit about autism. Um, my mom used to work uh, as a special education, like, teacher's aid. Um, so I do know a bit, not like, I'm not like a professional or anything. I know a bit about autism. Um, I, I'm not autistic myself. I do experience a lot of social anxiety and have, like, some other stuff going on, but not autism specifically. It'd be f it'll be four years on July 13th. Dope. You sound like me as fuck. I have, I have, like, raging ADHD and anxiety. And every day we, you know, gotta, gotta fight through some shit. But we're here and that's what counts. Ah, the ADHD could be it. Yes, I have, like, mad ADHD. Um, it's... Some some days it's, like, really bad. It's not as bad today as it is some days. Um, it's pretty reasonable right now. But... Um, there's this thing that happens when I stream, and because it's, like, unscripted talking, right? It, like, sometimes I, like, babble on or, like, go on a rant and... Sometimes I think it doesn't quite make sense to people who are, like, in chat listening to me, but we're just doing our- look, we're just doing our best. We can do our best, and that is it. And we're doing it. <laughs> I wasn't officially diagnosed, but there's some evidence that I have Asperger's. Yeah, it's- it's definitely, like, more and more people are being diagnosed all the time, 
as you know as resources are more accessible and there's there's more research done and as as mental health um and disabilities are becoming more of like a forefront normalized thing what even is normal anymore you know there's 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 more and more people being diagnosed with everything i mean it's just i like to i like to like keep the channels of communication open on this channel so like if you're if you're dealing with something and you feel you like you know you need a safe place or anything please feel free to be here um this is a safe space for anyone as long as you don't step on anyone else's toes you're totally welcome here and we try to make sure that everyone feels safe and seen and loved uh the game that we're playing right now is called beyond two souls it does cover some heavy topics so if at any point um you feel something and we have we do have a trigger command it's just exclamation point trigger in the chat i'll be using it um as i because i've played through this game once so i i kind of remember how things go um, I'll be dropping trigger warnings uh, periodically when I feel that it's necessary, but if at any point you specifically uh, think that a trigger warning can or should be used, please feel free to to drop that command. Um, there's also an automated trigger warning uh, that my chatbot will spit out every once in a while. But yeah, that's the thing. Um... I missed so much, uh, lol, normal is overrated, absolutely, 100%. Uh, m mood, I'm just trying my best. We're all just trying our best. Asperger's isn't a thing anymore, it's now grouped into autism. Oh, I didn't know that. I'm a, a neuropsych student, by the way. Okay. There's different types of autism, though, is there not? Uh, not really. I think there's, like, it's, it's similar to a lot of other things, where it's on a spectrum. So you have, like, really, really, like, severe autism, and then you have, like, you know, people in between, and then you have, like, more high-functioning stuff, and there's, there's a lot of, there's, like, but it's, but it's on a spectrum, just, like, sexuality or gender or anything else. Um, there's no black and white. Don't step on other people's toes. Well, here's a disclaimer. I can't dance. Oh, Okay, but like being clumsy is not what I meant, <laughs> cause I relate to that. I'm clumsy as fuck. Um. Do 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 do. <clears throat> Some of the stuff like ticks where I hit myself, make random noises. That's what people see as lower functioning. But it isn't low functioning you only tick if you're stressed okay um i follow several people with uh some form of a, a a tick disorder on tiktok and i think it's really interesting because that is something that a lot of people who experience ticks talk about is that they really make themselves known when they're stressed uh so like at work at school, like, social, l lots of stimulus happening, like, I just think, it, I think it's fascinating. If I, if I wasn't, like, set on a career path already, I would, like, I, I thought I wanted to be a psych major for years, and then I was like, oh, maybe, <laughs> maybe not. Maybe I'm too much of an empathic person to handle going into a psychology major field sort of thing. Um, but yeah, uh, the human body is, is like crazy. It really is. I do discuss autism and mental health, like I do educational talks and stuff. Oh, that's dope. Mental health, LGBTQ. That's amazing. Mental health will get worse if you're stressed, anxiety, or depressed. Yeah, it, I mean, everything mentally, emotionally, and physically changes based on 
you know, a number of things. Stress is definitely one of them. Um, I was going to do marine biology, but I could move... <clears throat> but I could move to the area I needed. So now I'm doing neuropsychology. That's fantastic. That's great. That's great. I'm... I'm just like a film major because I like storytelling. <laughs> that's... That's it. Um... I was going to to start um, I was going to start taking classes this last semester towards a certification as a veterinary, veterinary technician because I'm going to work with animals but they transferred the college transferred to all online classes and didn't have an online like system for the vet tech program yet so we just we're taking a pause on that bit oh that's elliot's character okay i thought that this was just like a random person Stop on the train that. got it got it got it oh nope should we mess with the backpack is your area covid safe ish uh my home is. <laughs> My home is COVID safe. Um, no, I live in Southern California, San Bernardino County, and it has one of the highest COVID rates in the state right now. I think it's like one in, I think the number of few weeks ago was one in 10. One in ten people had, have or have had COVID, and we had a scare off, in December, in late December. Days. We had a COVID scare hey, because tired. we went to see my great grandmother on Christmas Eve, and we she lives she lived in an assisted living facility. Um, so I'm gonna pause this for a second because I'm getting distracted. Um, she lived in an assisted living facility, um, and they, you know, made us- we- we wear- we wear masks because that's the responsible thing to do. Um, and then when we got- when we got in, they like- they gave us a face shield, so we had mask, face shield, they gave us like a plastic gown, and then we could be in the, like, same room as her to exchange gifts and stuff, but we couldn't- we had to stay socially distanced, so six feet or more away from her. Um, and then a couple of days later, they- the assisted living facility gave us a call and was like, um, she's tested positive for COVID, we're sending her to Cedar sinai and, and it's a hospital in LA. Uh, but the way that they were wording things made it seem like we were the only people who had seen her, so we gave her COVID. So we, like, freaked out, and we went to get tested. And um, we all tested negative. Myself and my grandparents, who I live with, all tested negative. And then a couple of days, like, the day after we got our, our negative COVID results back, the facility called again and was like, oh, actually, we've had, uh, like, two staff members and three other... Um, residents test positive so it wasn't you it was us and we're like oh thank god it's not us but also fuck you um thank you bobby i appreciate it yeah mad druid it's it's crazy right now it's absolutely crazy uh also fuck you yeah no 100 percent um we were mad about it and she uh my great grandma was in the hospital for 31 days and there was a bunch of like like weird fucked up mistakes that happened in the hospital and and she fought through all of it and she um as soon as she tested negative for the virus um we put her in we we had her transferred to um a really really good like state of the art facility for rehab for for uh physical therapy to get her back mobile because she was, you know, laying in a bed for over a month, uh, doing nothing, and 
we wanted to make sure that she had time and the resources and the training to get back up into physical strength, to, to build that up again. Um, we are currently experiencing an outbreak of bad when we haven't gone out to get groceries in a while. Oh my goodness, please stay safe. Please stay safe. Oh my god, we've been having food and groceries and, and all that stuff delivered to the house. And then we clean things as, as we get them and we put them away. Uh, but yeah, it's crazy. Um, so then, you know, so grandma went into the hospital. She was there for, uh, just over a month, went into, uh, uh, a, a facility for, uh, physical therapy. And then, um, she was there for two days, got transferred back to Cedars, uh, the hospital she was at. And when... When I heard that she was getting sent back to the hospital, I kind of, I kind of knew, I kind of clocked it, I kind of called it, um, and we lost her, um, a few days ago. We actually have, um, a, a viewing that we'll be live streaming for her, um, from a place in, in Pasadena, um. It'll just be me and my grandparents who all live in one house, and then um, my aunt and her husband and my uncle. So it'll be her three kids, uh, basically, and those and their spouses, and then me, um, who'll be at the viewing tomorrow, and then everyone else in the family can can join the live stream and stuff, so that we're safe and distance and and all that. But um, it's been a crazy couple of weeks, not gonna lie. COVID attacks the the mental state a lot. Um, yeah, it does, and we definitely saw a regression a a, a bit in um in her dementia because she was struggling with dementia uh, before. Um, is there anything I can do for you guys? No, we're I mean we're we're okay. We. We had time to make peace with everything and say our goodbyes and, and, uh, you know, we, we, we spent every day that she was in the hospital, um, getting together as a family every night, um, uh, on a video call and doing, uh, saying prayers and doing meditations and chants and, uh, my great grandma was born and raised on a native reservation, so we did native, um, rituals and, and chants and prayers and stuff too. Um, but yeah, uh, my sister and brother got COVID already. Oh no, I'm so sorry. It's, it's rough. Are, are your sister and brother okay? I hope they are, Druid. I really hope they are. Thank you, Sir Jabbers. I, I appreciate it. It, it, you know, it's, it's tough, but... She was 91 years old, and she lived an amazing life, and she fought every day to to have the life that she wanted, and she was such an inspiration and such a boss bitch, and uh, I'll, I'll be thankful for forever to have known her for 25 years. And now I'm crying, but yeah, no, it's, it's all good. It comes in waves, you know, it's, um, it is what it is. I don't know. My family has banned me. Oh no, I'm so sorry. I just love them from afar. Oh man, that sucks, Druid. Um, I kind of am experiences it. I, ooh, I can't speak. I kind of, I, I. I know how that feels. Um, I have not really had any contact with my parents or my three younger sisters in coming up on two years. Um, when I left my parents' house just shy of two years ago, it was a very, like, hard cutoff. And, um, there just, there hasn't really been any other than, like, I... <laughs> I haven't talked to my parents or my sisters in, in almost two years, and that sucks too, but um, I've kind of gotten to the point where I'm like, eh, it is what it is. Um, 
I, I understand loving them from afar, but my parents were mentally and emotionally, and at times when I was a kid, physically abusive to me for most of my childhood. And so after I left home, I really needed like that hard distance. I, I needed to completely cut cut like ties and communication for the sake of like my own mental health and, and uh, being able to like step back and look at that trauma objectively um, without them being involved and to get to a good place on my own and have successfully done that but other than texting my dad to like get his shit together and stop self-isolating from the rest of the family because his grandma was dying um i haven't had contact with my my family uh, my parents in in just shy of two years so i know how that feels my mom's very abusive and my dad's really an ass they recently just all got mad at me for being openly trans. Oh, fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. Um, Druid, if you type exclamation point pronouns in chat, it's either pronoun or pronouns. Um, a link will pop up. It'll direct you to a an extension for both Chrome and Firefox. Um, and you can you can, it might be pronouns with an S at the end, you can enable this extension to work on Twitch. Uh, what it'll let you do is it'll let you set your pronouns. And then um, everyone who uses the extension and is on either Chrome or Firefox as a browser will be able to see both their pronouns and everyone else who uses the extension's pronouns. So like in chat, I am able to see um, when someone uses, has has this extension set up. Um, so for example, I can see that when I scroll up through chat, Super Lazy Genius 2 has, has pronouns set to she, her. My pronouns show up as she, they, because that's what I have set. And... It's like it's so is so cool to see people's pronouns pop up in chat. So if you want to do that, feel free. Um, I need a stamp so I can stamp my pronouns on people's head, on people's heads. <laughs> oh my goodness, that wait that would be actually be dope. Like just like boop, like a little stamp, like boop. Um, I also have a channel points redemption. Um, I forget how many channel points it's worth, but there is a pronouns please channel points redemption that you can use and basically uh, like a magically puff <laughs> oh my goodness i love that visual um and basically with if you redeem that command it's an opportunity for everyone in chat to just drop their pronouns and to you know start that conversation if anyone wants to and uh yeah 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 i'm so sorry that your family are being dicks about that I really, I really am mad for you now. Like, you want me to fuck him up? I'll fight him. I'm f I'll fight him. You want me to fight him? I'll fight him. <laughs> no, you're amazing. What the fuck? Why are you amazing? You're amazing. I'm just, I'm just saying it like it is. I'm just speaking my mind. Speaking from the heart. Um, you're valid. I see you. I love you. You're valid. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Fuck that. We do not live long enough lives as humans to be inauthentic, to be assholes. Um, we should love and support each other. Period. Period.com. <clears throat> okay, so, um, where do you see pronouns? If, if everything's been set up properly, um, so the, the first link in the chat bot will take you to the extension that you will set up. And then the second link will take you into the extension itself so that you can set your pronouns. And then you press like save or continue or whatever, and it should pop up right next to your name. So I'll, I'll type, I'll just like keyboard smash into chat so you can see 
if if the extension is set up, you should be able to see my pronouns. Um, there they are, right next to my name. And then, uh, <laughs> I like that keyword smash. It's very, like, ooh. Um, and so as soon as it's set up and ready to go, you should be able to see everyone's. Don't mind the spam trying to get this to work. No problem. Do your thing. No problem at all. Uh, I might need to refresh Twitch. Hold on. Do your thing, Jabbers. Do your thing. I'm going to continue with this, with this game as you're doing that. Ah, there we go. Now it works. Okay, uh, I don't even know what I'm doing with this game. I should have... <laughs> Honestly, we were talking about The Sims. I should have just tried streaming something calm like The Sims. Uh, while... Trying to have conversations like this. Should have just done that. Um, instead of trying to like... Pause and continue the story. I just got The Sims 4 Snow Japanese Packs. I'm so excited to try it out. I'm gonna stream the reveal. Awesome! Happy dance! Happy dance! Um, Druid, uh, when do you have a streaming schedule? Do you have times that you usually... Try? I'm gonna pause here. I just, I'm just gonna pause and talk to chat. Um, do you have times that you usually stream? Because I would love to be able to pop into your stream at some point and, and show some love and see what's going on and chat about stuff, you know? You know. And so if you if you have a stream schedule, if you know about when you're going to be streaming next, I would love to pop in and support. So let me know. Let me know. I will swing by as I can. <gasps> oh, Druid, I see your pronouns. They them pronouns. Awesome. Now I will always know when I see your name in chat how to refer to you. That's fantastic. Um, let's see, my stream schedule is set correctly on my profile, but I'm gonna be doing a 9 to 5 tomorrow. Okay, awesome. Tomorrow is Monday. I, I will have to look at the rest of your stream schedule, um, because tomorrow is, um, is the viewing for my great-grandmother. Um, so I'll be busy doing you know, sad funeral stuff tomorrow. Um, but I will swing by as soon as I can to check out one of your streams. Let me do to do, do to do, do. It's usually nine to four or five ish every day, but Monday and Thursdays. Okay, cool. Oh, I am following you already. Okay. Dope. Dope, dope, dope. I was gonna... I was gonna follow you, but then I... But then I'm already following you. So now what? Now what? Okay. I might have to switch games tonight. I don't know that I can keep going with this story... With this story... There's so much, there's so many things to talk about. Um, I don't think I have The Sims downloaded right now, though. I'd have to, like, take a longer break and, and download it. Um, I love this game. It's an amazing story. It absolutely destroys me emotionally. Um, but this, like, it requires a lot of attention. And I'm trying to talk to my friends. So, like, Sims and a, is a big download. Um, I'm trying to think of, I'm trying to think what I have. Yes, friends. We could be friends. Do you not, do you want to be my friend? You could be my friend. I would be your friend. Can we be friends? 
I just, I just, I just, everyone who pops into chat is just like my friend. I don't, I don't know. Yes, okay, yay. Yay, friends. Um, I'm, I'm trying to think of what I have downloaded right now that, that requires less attention. Um, my face is going to disappear for a second because I want to take a look at the games. Um... What do I have? I have Life is Strange 2, Little Nightmares, three different Tomb Raiders, RDR 2, uh, Bloodborne, I am saving, uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance, Skyrim, I got some other stiff. Again, I play a lot of story-based games, so I don't even know. I got Fall Guys, Untitled Goose Game, I don't even know what to play. I don't even know what to play that would be chiller. I guess maybe Skyrim is is more chill, less like there's definitely story driven aspects of Skyrim, like the quests and stuff, but you can also just like beep boop around, uh dance around naked in Skyrim. I might I might swap games. Skyrim is awesome. Can't wait to play it. Um I started playing Skyrim for the first time a couple weeks ago, and I think I've only done like like f three or four Skyrim streams, um, but I am thoroughly enjoying it, and I am understanding why, like I now understand <laughs> why so many people lost years and years of their life to Skyrim, and, and the, the universe and the lore and everything. Um, it's very like sucks you in and keeps you there. Um, I'd love to see you try it. Well, maybe. I wonder if the food is here. I might pop out real quick to see if food is here. Um, cause I do need to put food in my face. But after I eat, Skyrim stream. Possibly? Maybe? Could be fun? The story and lore in the Elder Scrolls universe is just so fantastic. Yeah, I mean, I never played any of the of the <clears throat> Elder Scroll games until uh, 5, until Skyrim. But I am thoroughly enjoying it, and... As a, like, I, I just, I haven't, there's, there's so many video games that I'm, and, like, f series and franchises that I'm trying to get caught up on, because from between the ages of, like, seven and 23, when I bought myself a PS4, I didn't play video games. It wasn't allowed in the house. Um, it just, it, playing video games wasn't something that was allowed after I turned, like, seven or eight. So I went, like, ten plus years not playing any video games, not knowing anything about the changing in the game industry and stuff like that. So I'm trying to, like, get caught up and play all of the things that I have missed, but I don't own all of the different consoles, and there's not enough time to get to everything. So, like... Also, I just end up playing, replaying The Last of Us and The Last of Us 2 a million times because I love the story. <laughs> but yeah, there's so much. Oh my god. Feel free to run ads. We don't mind. Jabbers, Bobby, and I. That's fair. There's a lot to catch up on. Yeah, there's, there, there definitely is. There definitely is. Um, I'm going to pop out real quick to see if food is here or get an estimate on when food is supposed to be here. Um... Because I'm I'm going to stop stream to have dinner and like talk to my grandparents and chat as a fam, you know. Um, if you have a PC, you can download different emulators for a lot of different game systems. That's dope. I'm gonna keep that in mind. I don't have a PC that um, I'm working off of like a cheap three hundred dollar laptop right now because I had a PC and. <sighs> Oh, I get mad every time I talk about this because it's just so disappointing. Um, 
That's not allowed on Twitch, though. Oh, interesting. Okay, something else to keep in mind. Um, I bought all the parts for a custom PC, and um, I was going to build it myself, and then I decided instead to ask a local computer shop if they would just build it for me, so that I didn't spend, like, a whole day building a PC. And they did, and I got it back same day, and, like, three and a half months later, my computer wouldn't turn on. And I had to take it all take it all apart to figure out what was wrong. And then I got to the CPU. And there were motherfucking pins bent all over on my CPU. I still have it. I can show you. It's a disgrace. They bent pins on my CPU and didn't tell me. And I'm still mad about it. And it was a Ryzen 3700X. So between the part and the 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 amount that I paid them for labor, that was five hundred dollars right down the drain. And I'm still mad about it because they didn't do shit to to fix it. They didn't do anything. They didn't offer to help at all. My PC building brain is in agony right now. Yeah, same. I should have just I should have just built it myself. I should have just taken the day to do it my damn self. But I was nervous because it was going to be my first PC build and I didn't want to mess anything up. But if I had messed something up, it would have been it would have been me. And I wouldn't have been mad at anyone but me. Uh, and then I would have gotten over it. But because it was someone else who fucked it up and didn't tell me and I thought I had a perfectly good working PC for three and a half months. Then it was just like insult to injury and just like super fucked. I was, I was, I'm, I'm still so mad about it. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm not streaming from a PC anytime soon because I don't have the money to replace the part right now. And so we're just working with what we've got. So we're streaming directly from a PS4. Uh, the, the, the little unsophisticated overlay you see on the screen right now is just, like, uh, um, a Twitch extension that I have set up as an overlay, uh, just to have something, and th that's that. We're just working with what we've got. Uh, that sucks a lot. I feel that I took my PC to our local shop here to get the power supply fixed, and they fried my hard drive. Oh, no lost thousands of pictures, and it prompted me to start my own computer repair business. Oh! So there's a silver lining. <laughs> um, fair. Gotta do what- Gotta do what you can with what you've got. Yeah, for sure. Let me- let me show you, Jabbers. Let me show you the absolute disgrace that is this CPU. I mean, it's just, it's just painful to look at. I don't know how well this is going to show up on my PS4 camera. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it at all. But there's, on, on two corners, on this corner and this corner and this corner, there's a bunch of bent pins. And you can't see it at all, but there- oh, you can kind of- you can kind of see here and there if- if it catches the light just right. But there's probably... There's probably... I'm counting 17 right now. I'm counting 17 bent pins. On, on this three hundred and fifty dollars CPU that I bought, uh, it's just real disappointing. Okay, I'm gonna check on food real quick. Uh, if you can get in there with a really small blade or a needle, you should be able to bend the pins back into place if you're really careful. It won't, it won't have destroyed the CPU. Well, here's the thing. Um, they're bent in multiple directions. Not all of them. Some of them are just bent one way. There are two or three pins here 
that are like zigzag bent, like bent one way and bent the opposite way. Um, as long as none of the pins are busted. The, the, are busted, like broken. Okay, none of them are broken broken, but there are some that are, that are bent in more than one direction. Um, maybe I'll have to, maybe I'll try it out, because if this is salvageable at all, it might be nice to just see if it is. Um, and if it's not, then it's already not usable, so... Needle nose pliers might be able to straighten out the bent ones. Okay. I'm gonna add that to my to-do list, um, because if I can salvage this at all, that would be great. Because then I could stream from my PC again. Uh, and that would be awesome. It would be worth a shot for the price of a CPU. Yeah, definitely. Um... For sure, for sure. Thank you, I appreciate it. Appreciate the input. Because I would be too much of a baby to try to fix this without somebody being like, Hey! You know... It might really be helpful. <laughs> so thank you. I'm gonna keep this on my desk out of the way so it doesn't get destroyed anymore, but... I'm gonna go check on food real quick. I'll be back. I'll be back, and I'm gonna run some ads. Hello, I am back. Um, so, update on the food situation. Uh, dinner should be here in a couple of minutes, so I'm gonna cut stream. Um, and after dinner, might come back with Skyrim, possibly, or, okay, I can either, um, and and oh what's happening with my mic is my mic working it looked like it wasn't going to work for a second um jabbers and i will be here still awesome i'm thinking um you know like an hour or so to eat and chat with the grandparents and stuff like that um and then I can either come back with Skyrim or I can let uh, The Sims 4 download while we're having dinner and I can come back with some Sims. Do y'all have a preference? Because if you have a preference, I'll give you whatever you want. You just have to let me know. If you have a preference, now would be the time to say something. Because if you want Sims versus um, versus Skyrim, I'll I'll download it. Um, but yeah, 
Not overly, just like hanging out. Okay, well then maybe I'll just come back with some Skyrim. Um. Yeah, dinner should be here any minute. So, thank you. Thank you all for hanging out. I appreciate you. Thanks for the chats. Thank you for keeping me company. Um, I am going to go shove food in my face. Please take care of your bodies. Drink some water. Water is good for your body. You should drink water. Um, if you if you need to eat, you should have some food. Stretch your legs. Do your thing. Uh, take your meds if you haven't. Oh shit! Actually. I haven't had my <laughs> Sips Red Bull. I haven't taken my supplements today. I haven't taken my turmeric. Turmeric. And I haven't taken my black cumin seed oil, which is supposed to help boost the immune system. So actually, I'm going to do that right now before I forget again. <laughs> so, you know. Uh huh. There we go. I was like, get some water, take your meds. Oops, I didn't take mine. Um, I read that human seed oil. Oh, no. Uh, cumin. C-U-M-I-N. Cumin. Yeah. It's just supposed to, like, help boost immunity and stuff like that. Which is important right now. Because we do not need to be, get, be getting sick. So. Anywho. Again, thank you for hanging out. Um, really quick, Super Lazy Genius, thank you for the raid. Um, Bobby and Jabbers, thank you for the follow. I'm going to head out and have some dinner, and I will be back soon with some Skyrim? Skyrim, Sims, now I don't know what I want to do. We were talking about Skyrim earlier. Let's just do Skyrim. You can see my Khajiit. Uh, my little, my little thief, my little thiefy thief, and um, if you have time to pop in later, I would appreciate to see you. But totally understand um, if you're doing other things, because people do other things. We do, we do other things. Uh, anyway, thanks for popping by. I appreciate you. I'm gonna head out. Bye.